What's going on guys? Custom RC Mods here and today I have the RC so Showcase series video number one and so basically these series for lack of a better name are just some stuff so today's liquids that I'm just gonna be just talking about what I use things like that um and so basically all I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna go through all these stuff these um liquids that I've um, been using recently and I'm just going to talk about them say hey I really like this one hey there's better one like this one or hey it's cheaper over here or something like that so let's just dive right in so we're gonna go from left to right starting over here these are two of our um, Gorilla Glue super glues and and I have used these pretty much for most of my super gluing needs um, this one's full this one's about it done um, and so these are pretty good I mean they're self-explanatory so, yeah, that's what I use. Then we got Shugu. Um, so this is just a little thing of Shugu. I have a large um, tube of Shugu that I use on bo mainly bodies um, and things like that. But uh, I haven't really used it too much recently. And the next thing, Loctite. Very simple Loctite blue. And it comes in a red bottle. Ever so convenient. Um, and then I also have another Loctite blue in the package. As well as the Loctite Professional Super Glue, which is some super glue that I've heard is pretty nice stuff, um, and it has like the tip and all that nice stuff. Um, and I had some super glue, um, but it was like the kind that has like that squeeze, and and the actual super glue container is like that big. So um, this is just more. I do have this mainly probably for tire gluing. Um, so I haven't gotten that out yet. We'll have to see how that um, performs. And so coming back over here, we have the um, dr Teflon, uh, white Teflon, uh, simple stuff. Just, I mean, there's not really a ton of applications in the RC world, but just kind of keeping stuff lubed up. Um, this is uh, good to have. And then we have white lithium grease, pretty simple. I use this for diff cases and transmissions. I used to have some Traxxas silicone oil until I ran out. Um, but now we got some body paints. I, some of these things I don't really consider liquids because, you know, you don't really squirt them out. But these are the two. I have PS17, PS12, silver, and green. And this is what I'm, when I paint my bodies with. And we'll have to see how these turn out, um, on other bodies. So, now we're going to move right over. These are my three in oils. Three in one oils. Um, this is just a, um, rust prevention, um, prevention like if there's any locked up um bearings due to rust on a car this um can free rust part rusted parts um it could prevent rust and it can also lubricate and then this is just a standard three in one oil um that i use when drilling through metal and other um lubing and stuff like that so now we got the original gorilla glue um which is obviously longer um it takes longer to set so this is for like bigger jobs and this stuff will literally not come undone so now in this like drug container that says shock parts on it i used to carry put like the little shock spacers in here from my rustler um this is a uh, nail polish remover for removing super glue um just a little bit in here um that i can use a q-tip and just put all over and that works pretty well and so now onto the wd-40s we've got the big wd-40 that still has some stuff in it but um and then i was at lowe's the other day and i saw this little look WD-40, and I decided I'd go ahead and get it because it's just it's too cute to pass up. And I can't find the lid for that one. That would make it my father and son. So the next thing is this hand cleaner that I was just tossed in the cart at when I was at Lowe's, and it's just Pumas hand cleaner, and um, it's really helpful because when you know when you go and work on your transmission or diff or something like that and you tear it all apart and your hands are all greasy and then you go to wash it off and it does not work um and that is just the most depressing feeling ever that you have to live with it for a few more days okay and so the not last thing that i have my ipad out for is we've got the team losi shock oil which this is amazing stuff um i got the purple 40 weight um size uh two ounce size and so basically what it is is um, it's just really good shock oil, and, um, this is, again, uh, just Team Losi shock oil, and as you can see, we've got, 
I'm on their website right now. We've got the six pack, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and all that stuff. And so that's the low to intermediate range. And then this is the intermediate to high range. Um, and so for about 30 bucks, you can get all your shock oil needs. And so we got 30 weight right here and all the other weights going up. And then they also have these four ounce bottles, which are obviously double the capacity of this, which is useful if you know what you want. And they're a little bit more expensive. expensive. And so they, my point of all this is that they have a wide variety of shock oils and they're really, really nice shock oils. Um, just have the little easy, it's not just a cap that you screw off, it has a little easy squirt on it. And I I think the 40 weight's a good interme intermediate weight for me. At least it gives some shock, your shock some stiffness. So, yeah, so this is all my liquids in this first RC Showcase video. Um, so I will continue to make some RC Showcase videos. Um, just showcasing a different part of my um, RC tools, RC parts, RC... Um, station, work, workbench, things like that. So thank you for watching the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.